Do you want to know the real reason why Western men come to Asia and never look back? And what dating is really like in countries such as Thailand, the Philippines and so on? So I was hosting an event last month in Cebu City. There was a mixture of retirees, expats and locals and I got talking to a recently retired guy called Mike. Mike was from the US who recently decided to check out the Philippines to see if this could potentially be a new home. We got talking and he asked me what is it about the Philippines or similar countries that make it such a good place to live? I said well to be honest with you Mike this place is near perfect. I mean think about it the food is amazing, the cost of living is low, the locals are friendly, the weather's wonderful, the women are beautiful, it's a slice of heaven. So it's no wonder why so many westerners now move move to Cambodia, Vietnam, Philippines and the like. But dating does have a big impact on why some choose to live in Southeast Asia. If you're into open relationships, one night stands, transgender dating, gay dating, straight dating, single mums dating, you name it, you will have a lot of options. And that's the thing, in many countries the odds are not in your favour, but in Asia the numbers are insane. This can even get to the point where you're going to have to manage your time and this is no joke. I used to use a lot of online dating apps but one of the reasons that I had to delete them was because the matches and the messages got too much. Let me give you an example. In December I went back to the UK to see the family for Christmas. I decided to start online dating again. How many matches did I get in what 30 days? Well I got 8 matches. So I decided to change my location to Manila and how many matches did I get? Well I got over 100 matches in less than 45 minutes. Now I'm not trying to imply anything about myself by saying this, I'm only using this as a point to demonstrate that dating in Asia is on a completely different scale. A good friend of mine can't talk to women in the streets, he just can't do it. So he uses online dating or he gets really drunk at the bars and then he talks to the women there. He is a decent guy but he has a very limited viewpoint about dating in Asia because of what he does. My other friend is the complete opposite, he would go up to a group of ladies happily and talk away. He tends to meet career women and most of which are very decent and very attractive and these are two different guys with two different viewpoints and experiences. There is a lot of guys who come to Asia for fun and you know the sort of fun that I'm talking about here. And you also know that there's a lot of stereotypes about dating in Asia. So I need to warn you about a few things. Well, Warning is a strong word, so let's just say a gentle suggestion. The first suggestion is to be careful of the crazies out there. A comment came in on one of my videos last week from a guy who was saying that he rejected a Thai girl and she completely flipped out and he had to even call security. Funny enough, I've heard a similar situation numerous times. It's always nice to have a beautiful woman next to you, just make sure she's not as mad as a box of frogs. The second suggestion is about what you see. I'm not hating on any YouTubers here, but some of the stuff that you see and hear is not typical. Yes, you can be in a situation where you go up to a woman, chat away and end up in bed an hour later. It happens, but it's not a normal thing Thing unless you are at the right place at the right time or unless she expects payment. And even if you do end up in this situation, bringing a woman back to your place where your money, your phone or your belongings are, it can be a little bit risky my man. The third suggestion is about your energy. I know a lot of guys who have a preference for Asian women but it does get to the point where it becomes too much. You can easily get addicted to all kinds of things such as using the dating apps, watching naughty videos or meeting endless women. There are a lot of expats that I have met who are in a really really bad place mentally. It's fun to have fun but it's all about balance. If you guys need it, I will do a full video about this. Just write the word pancakes in the comments so I know if there's any interest.
Southeast Asian culture can be a little bit complex. You most likely know that many countries follow Buddhism, but some countries such as the Philippines are predominantly Catholic. This however doesn't really have an impact on dating so much, but there are some viewpoints that Asian women are very innocent and traditional and this isn't always the case. Of course some can be, especially if you're living in the provinces, you will find that there are many traditional beliefs, but most major cities you will find that the single ladies are very modern and possess a lot of western beliefs. In fact, many Asian countries are a lot more relaxed in some regards than western countries. Countries. But having said this, what I noticed a lot is that many Asian women are very concerned about how they are viewed by the wider society. Some locals will judge other locals if they're dating a western guy. On top of this, some ladies are naturally shy when it comes to dating foreigners. To try and articulate this the best way I can, I would say that you will find many single women have their culture and traditions subconsciously, but western and modern viewpoints to occupy their conscious mind. This is the best way that I can describe it. First of all, watch the energy. Like I mentioned, if you go to one of the popular cities or areas, it can be a bit of a culture shock. Remember, there is no rush. You will meet single women everywhere. Leaving your condo, you will meet many ladies. Getting a coffee, you will meet many ladies. Going to the park, you get the point. If you are in a more remote area or an area where English is not widely spoken, then online dating can come in handy. But meeting a person tends to be the best option for most situations. So let's say that you meet a nice girl and things are going well. What about getting to that next level, physically speaking? Unless you're dating a traditional woman, getting to that next level happens relatively quickly. But trust me, if this doesn't happen, don't worry, as it can be a blessing in disguise. If you've watched similar videos, you will know that a lot of YouTubers like myself tell people to take their time with dating, especially if you're dating in Thailand, Philippines, etc. There are many reasons behind this, but one of the big ones is that there are a lot of very beautiful women out there who are not stable. So taking your time is not really a bad thing. If you're looking for a serious relationship, it's always a good idea to share your intentions, but not too much. I made this mistake recently. I met this lady who is super beautiful and friendly and I told her that I was looking for a long-term girlfriend and to settle down. After a few weeks I got to know her more and more and I realized that we're just not uh, we're just not right together. Nothing personal but it's just not the right fit. And this is the thing. Sometimes it takes a while to know if things are right but because dating moves so quickly in the Philippines and Cambodia and Thailand and basically most parts of Asia you have to try to pace yourself the best way you can because if not you'll find that you'll end up in a relationship in a matter of weeks sometimes. So looking back it would have been better not to have sounded so keen. Another big part of dating an Asian woman is that if you're planning to live somewhere full time, date one woman at a time. I've spoken before on this channel about some private groups of women who talk about foreigners. Thailand has this a lot. There are groups of Thai women made up of a hundred thousand women or more and usually these are found on Facebook and they talk about dating foreigners. They share photos and messages in the group and sometimes Tinder profiles and stuff like that so it's something to be aware of. Now as far as I'm aware this is because there's a lot of uh, cheating going on all that kind of stuff and I'm sure it has good intentions but it's worth mentioning because life's hard enough and you don't want to get mixed up in all that kind of stuff and you definitely don't need any more drama going on. The key takeaway today is to go with your gut. If there are any red flags you will often see them a mile away. Try to stop that in for a penny in for a pound attitude. If it's not working then stop. There are so many decent single women out there. All are different, have different mindsets, different beliefs. So don't waste your time on something you know it's not right as there are so, so, so many other potentials out there. Hey dude, you stayed to the end of the video. I like that a lot.